Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss how to find out the sum of factors of any given number. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now factors of a number are nothing but the numbers which are less than or equal to it and which divides the given number. So for example, if I have the number 12, then all the factors of number 12 are as follows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now all these 6 numbers divide the number 12, that's why they are called as factors of 12. Now since we are interested in calculating the sum of factors, we will just add all the factors which comes out to be 28. So the sum of factors of the number 12 is equal to 28. Now that was a pretty simple example, but if I tell you to find out the sum of factors of 1440, it will not be as easy as calculating the sum of factors as of 12. So let's learn a very simple method by which we can calculate the sum of factors for any given number. Now suppose you are given a number n and you have to calculate the sum of factors of the number n. So the first step would be prime factorizing the number n. So after prime factorization, the number would be a raised to the power p into b raised to the power q into c raised to the power r and so on where a, b and c are prime numbers and p, q and r are their respective powers. Now to prime factorize a number is simply meant by to represent a number as a product of prime numbers raised to their respective powers. Now done with the prime factorization, we can simply calculate the value of sum of factors by using the formula as s is equal to sum of all values from a to the power 0 to a to the power p into all the values from b to the power 0 into b to the power q into sum of all the values from c to the power 0 up to c to the power r and so on. So this product of values will give you the sum of factors for the number n. Now let's solve some few examples so that you will get a clear idea on this concept. Now for our first example, we have to calculate the sum of factors of the number 100. Now the first step would be prime factorizing the number and which gives the result as 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2. Now to calculate the sum of factors, we will simply put this in the formula. So we have to calculate the product of 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power 2 and it will give us the sum of factors of the number 100. Now the sum of the first part is equal to 7 and the sum of the second part is equal to 31 and the product of these two numbers is equal to 217. So the sum of factors of 100 is equal to 217. Now for our second question, we have to calculate the sum of factors of the number 1848. Now first we have to prime factorize the number. Now 1848 can be written as 231 into 8. Now 231 can also be written as 77 into 3 and 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. Now 77 can also be written as 7 into 11. So the final result of prime factorization is equal to 2 cube into 3 into 7 into 11. So the number 1848 on prime factorization gives us this result. Now the sum of factors of 1848 is equal to sum of all the values from 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the power 3 into sum of all the values from 3 to the power 0 into 3 to the power 1 into sum of all the values from 7 to the power 0 into 7 to the power 1 and last but not the least into sum of all the values from 11 to the power 0 up to 11 to the power 1. Now the sum of the first part comes out to be 15, the sum of the second part comes out to be 4, sum of the third part comes out to be 8 and the sum of the last part comes out to be 12. So we have to calculate the product of all these four numbers to get the sum of factors of 1848 and the result comes out to be 5760. So sum of factors of 1848 is equal to 5760. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. 
and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy. Oh,